what's up my little mayonnaise fuckers so i saw a lot of artists on like twitter and stuff doing this meme thing so i thought i'd you know go for it i guess you get ready for my tragic backstory so at age five i was just tiny smart ass i was horrible i was just hell child horrible hell child and a big crybaby i'm a cancer you know, so it kind of comes with the whole zodiac. The, the who fucking cares? But um, I'm also I also have two older sisters, so all of my clothes were hand-me-downs, and they were already grown up enough to start dressing however they wanted. And I was so small and delicate, so I was pretty much the family doll. People would dress me up, and I'd hate it, but kind of like it because attention. But all the way up until I was seven, I was forced to wear dresses because I was not allowed to pick my own clothes and I hated it. And something that happened in my family was to like convince me to do things. They'd say it was either impossible or illegal to do things. So I thought it was illegal for a girl to not wear dresses. So I complied, but I was mad about it. At age seven, my sister came up to me one day and was like, hey, take a look at what I'm wearing right now. And I was like, what, jeans? And she was like, yeah, jeans. It's not illegal for girls to wear jeans. You can physically do it. No one can tell you no. So then I started wearing whatever I wanted, which was horrible. No wonder why my mom dressed me. But everything was too big because two sisters, so everything was hand-me-downs. This was also whenever I discovered that I have astigmatism. And the eye doctor told me and my mom that if I'd wear glasses every single day, by the time I'm 15, I will no longer need glasses. My eyes will be fixed. And they've been deteriorating ever since. Also, my mom forced me to have long hair all the way down to my butt. Because she has long hair all the way down to her butt, and she thinks that is the epitome of beauty. I don't even know if that's a fucking word. I'm tired. On medicine. Dying. But, I wanted short hair. Short, short hair. Throughout the years, you'll notice I'm slowly convincing her to let me cut it shorter and shorter. And to make things worse. It was 2005. Which means... Chunky blonde highlights were the craze, and I hopped on that craze. That was the first time I ever did anything to my hell, to my hair, and I ruined it. Now, age 10 is what unlocks depression. So, starting from the end of 4th grade to the end of 6th grade, I was bullied constantly, every day, and nobody did anything to help. None of the teachers... No one. Absolutely no one. Even whenever I'd go to the adults and be like, Hey, I'm being bullied. Please stop this. One time I went to the counselor's office and told her that I was being bullied. And she told me, Quit coming to my office. There's some students actually being bullied at this school. So that was lovely. And you know, having depression at such a young age fucks you up. But it happens. I mean... Some people don't understand how you can have depression at such a young age, but look at it like this. A 10 year old is being told every single day, hey, nobody cares about you whether or not you live or die. You should just kill yourself because you don't matter. And then none of the adults do anything to counteract that. That kind of convinces you. So then, uh, you got depression, whatever. It's fine, because you know what else happened this year? I got Helios. That made it all better. Age 13, I decide, depression shmepression. Who cares? I'm just gonna give up on emotions, cause I'm sick and tired of being so goddamn sad all the time. So, my emotions disappear. Everything's just fake, sarcastic humor. And I am deeply terrified of showing any other emotion other than loud. Because also, at this time, I go from being a nice, quiet, smart person to an asshole, loud, and stupid. 
And now I am still those things. I almost skipped a grade. Boy, things have changed. Also, age 13 is whenever I get to being five foot tall and then stop growing for the rest of my life. Which means I am still five foot tall through this goddamn day. And I started actually dyeing my hair. Uh. I just don't. Uh. Ugh. It's fine. It happens. I don't even know. I forgot. Too tired. Age 15. I learned you cannot quit having emotions. That's not something you can give up on. How do I learn this? One day in class, suddenly I'm hit with a big old panic attack. I have no idea what panic attacks are. And then, after it's done, I continue to have panic attacks constantly, weekly. Very bad. Very painful for me. Very confusing. It's pretty much like all the emotions that I was ignoring for the past two years are coming back to me full force, constantly, making up for lost time, if you will. And I have a panic disorder. And it's horrible! Really bad. Bad time of my life. Not as bad as age 10 to 12, but kind of stinks. I also give up on clothes that's not comfortable enough to sleep in. Because, god, I'm tired all the time. I also finally realize my sexuality and get a girlfriend. And I get backaches all the time. So now, physically and mentally, I'm just in constant pain. But, still not as bad as age 10 to 12. Age 16, I'm too stressed over everything happening around me, especially class, because I also get, I can't pay attention to anything. I'm in panic attacks all the goddamn time. Life sucks. So, I take a break from effort. I just stop doing things at full capacity or half capacity. And my grades slip, but I don't want to fucking die anymore, so that's a plus. And my new goal is to have white hair and be a white-haired anime boy because Tokyo Gold just came out and I decided I fell in love with Kazuya Juzu and I wanted to become him. I, liked to, I looked like him all the time. Also, I decide, even though I already changed to only wearing clothes that's pretty much pajamas all the time, pants are now dead to me. All legs all the time, baby, 24-7. Age 17, I finally have a smartphone, because I've been having one of those sideways flip, flo flip phones that you would find in a Fall Out Boy music video in the year 2007. And now I have a smartphone, which means now I have Twitter, which means now I have friends on Twitter, which means now my real life friends leave. Not leave, it was mostly my fault. I spent more time hanging out with other friends. I, I made more new friends this year also, not on the internet, and I started hanging out with them more often, which means that I lost my old friends, which is completely my fault. But... Whatever, they're living their life, having cool things happen to them without me. I'm living my life, I think mean, nothing happened to me. Also, my hair gets so goddamn fried from constant bleaching that I chop it all off. And trying to make it white, even though it's already white, you idiot. I put too much purple shampoo in it, and it ends up purple, and my school has uniforms. Not just dress code, uniform. So, they say, hey, you're either expelled or you have to die over your hair. So I die over my hair and hate it. But, now I have a diploma and a baby turtle named Pretty Boy. And age 19, where we currently are, I'm finally decent. I finally am not riddled with depression. I have big old glasses, which I've been wanting for years. I'm out of school, which means I can dye my hair whatever colors I want, do whatever I want with my hair, and nobody can tell me no. My mom can tell me, please don't, but I can do it. I also decide my new way of dressing is, if you can see the shorts, the bad look. It gotta look like I'm not wearing pants 24-7, which is fine. I throw peace signs way too much. I have a webcomic. 
finally I'm doing something with all these stories. And I get over my list long enough to start putting videos on YouTube. And I actually have a few fans. Which surprises me. Will never stop surprising me. And I appreciate you guys very much. This video sucked. I have taken nighttime mucinex. I don't know if that alters your personality or not, but I'm also tired and sick. Just want to take a big ol' nap.